Hey guys, have you ever wondered how a club event comes together? Well, this is your chance to be a fly on the wall with us behind the scenes of Shaker, a new club coming up in Melbourne. So come with us as we take a big look how it all stirs together in this giant pot of dance, fashion and music, which is Shaker at the Palace. Come with me. Greg? Yeah. Yeah, what I've been working on are the giveaways, the, all the sort of shit that, you know, the, the kids want to get it when they walk in here. Yeah. You know, give them something nice so they've got something that they can walk out with. I thought down the line of what entertainment is out there. So I thought, okay, films are out there, music's out there, uh, skateboarding's out there, trendy clothes is out there. So I've gone to the high, through the hierarchy yeah. and gone to... Um, Billabong marketing, Rusty marketing, Oakley, uh, I've gone to so the clothing, I've gone to the record labels, I've gone to the cinema, five double passes. And we, you know, we give those away one night. Know that we got on board and we'll have a look at the ads right now. Melbourne's most anticipated club night has landed at one of the city's most iconic venues. Get ready to shake it as the Palace Theatre opens its doors to Shaker. Catch Melbourne's finest DJs cranking all your favourite house, retro, pop and R&B tunes across multiple rooms. Now there's one place where you can truly shake it. Don't miss the massive opening night of Shaker at the Palace Theatre at the top of Burke Street. Strictly 18 plus, dress to impress. Right, that's version one that they came up with. Uh, where are you ladies headed to? We're on our way to Shaker. <laughs> yeah, I want to shake what my mama gave me. Great, well, mind if we follow you? Don't follow us, follow the music, follow the crowd. Shaker at Palace Theatre, launching September 18th. DJs Lee Davies, Scott Erdos, Mark John and guests playing all your favourite house, retro, pop and R&B every Saturday at the top of Burke Street in the city. So well, they're the two versions out there. That ad was a lot different to the first one, obviously. Remember what we were saying that we didn't want an ad that just blended in with what was going on on the radio, so if you're driving along you just ignore it. I think the second one, like we wrote last week, is a lot more... We'll actually catch on here, like, you know, we're Shaker, you know? Yeah, I thought it was alright, I think there's a lot of wasted. Man, Too much talking, you. wasting our own, yeah. give us directions, it should just be straight to the point. You want to be one of those ads when you hear it that's got something that just catches you straight away, whether it's a deep voice or her saying what she's saying. The you see, what we, that's what we wrote. Yeah. Well, I don't think it's that, that far off where we want it to be. Mm. I just think we just need to tweak some of the lines. Yeah, have a think about it. Um, because if we run this for two weeks prior, and we've still got a gap there of, yeah, we've got two weeks to work it out. Yeah, hi, I'm Scott. This is Lee. <laughs> We're the DJ slash promoters that look after Shaker every Saturday night, so we hope to see you there.